What's up, YouTube? This is your coach, Jenna Lurbach, speaking to you from Washington, D.C. And today, we're gonna cover the four most important myofascial releases we can do with a foam roller. These releases should be done either on a daily basis, hopefully early in the morning before you start moving, and every time you go to the gym. Are you ready? So coming with me, uh, one of the things we should remember about myofascial release is that ideally our routine is starting from the bottom towards the top. Today we're going to start with our calves and we're going to travel up. So let's start right here and with our calves we're going to cut our calves in half and we're going to place the foam roller right at the center of the lower part Hands are gonna come slightly behind our hips. And right here, let's smile and roll for five, four, three, two, and one. Bums go down on the ground and we're gonna roll side to side in a different direction for five, four, three, two, and one. Great work, guys. Now let's center the foam roller right at the widest part of our calf, crossing one leg on top of the other, coming right up and rolling four, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming right back down and switching sides. So a lot of people ask me the question, is foam rolling for everyone? And foam rolling is not for everyone. If you go below the video, please see uh, the people who should not be foam rolling. And if you have any questions, make sure to check with your doctor. With that, let's come up and roll for five, four, three, two, and one, bums down on the ground and rolling side to side for five, four, three, two, and one. Moving the foam roller to the upper part, crossing one leg on top of the other, coming up for five, four, three, two, and one. Coming right back down and rolling side to side, five, four, three, two, and one. Another question I hear all the time is, Jenna, this hurts like hell. And yes, for some people it will hurt a whole lot. What should we do? If you cannot put pressure, just put a little bit of pressure, maybe, maybe sometimes just pressing your leg or whichever part is uh, might be tight, and just breathe, okay? Little by little, you're gonna get that tightness uh, off the tissue, and that's what we're looking for. Next up, we're gonna work on our quads. For our quads, we're also gonna have a lower part and an upper part. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. And scooting back here, we're gonna come down to a plank position right here. And let's roll that lower part. Four, five, four, three, two, and one, stop right there, flex your foot in five, four, three, two, and one. Great work, let's come. I am actually gonna put my knees down and bring it up, and five. So right here is one that people complain a lot, a lot of tightness, and that's because we sit down a lot. Four, three, two and one let's stop right there in flexion and extension here's flexion extension for one two three four and five putting our knees down one hand on each side of the chest gently gently pressing next stop one of the most important uh, uh, muscle complexes in our body I was already saying it, the glutes. So for the glutes, first step is to sit pretty on the foam roller. A lot of people, when they're first starting, 
They have a lot of issues sitting on the foam roller. Some roll off the foam roller. Totally normal. Have fun, okay? We're going to put one leg down. That same hand is going to be on your knee. And boom, we're going to like sort of do a break dance kick. What I recommend here is that you find the tight spots right there. Right there. I found one. And spend some time here because I don't have unlimited time here. I'm going to just count to five, but stay as long as you need here. Five, four, three, two, and one. And let's sit pretty on the foam roller again. The leg that was flying is now going to be on the ground. And here's a big kick. And finding the tight spots. So for the tight spots, for some people, it could be that they're going to sit all the way on the foam roller and for some people they come almost down on their elbows and higher towards the lumbar spine find what's right for you and five four three two and one let's get down on the ground and for our final stretch and this is the one where you're gonna love me okay so bumps on the ground and we're going to put the foam roller right beneath our shoulder blade. If you are a lady with long hair, make sure you sort of hold your hair because it will get down beneath the foam roller and pressing with our heels coming up on a bridge <sighs> and just enjoy this. This is by far my favorite one. I could be here forever, but let's roll for five, four, three, two, and one. Bum comes down the ground, try to roll to the side, and was this video helpful? Please make sure if you're enjoying or exploring a release, you spend a little bit extra time, just press pause, and I hope to see you next time. Once again, if this was helpful, please make sure to leave a comment. Thank you so much, guys.